I'm Anne Blankenship, and I am an associate professor of religious studies at North Dakota State University. My current project is on Protestant, Jewish, and Catholic responses to immigration at the turn of the 20th century, so that mass immigration when millions of people are coming all at once, and a lot of the native-born Americans felt overwhelmed by these numbers, and so I'm looking to see what these religious groups um, did in terms of opposing or encouraging immigration restrictions, and then also um, what did they do to help out the actual immigrants that were here, you know, in their towns, who, who were their neighbors now, um, and in their churches or people of other religions that they were, you know, um, having to deal with in some sort of way. And PHS has, I mean, incredible collections. They have the major ecumenical collections from the Federal Council of Churches, which is now the National Council of Churches. Um, they have the Home Missions Council that was, um, those were like kind of the mainline Protestants that were um, starting missions to work with some of these immigrants, but also um, were uh, really communicating with a lot of their own parishioners to teach them about these new immigrant groups. So they were publishing, you know, things like Magyars in America and, you know, Ukrainians in America and just trying to teach the average Protestant who these people were and, you know, what they were about, why were they here, all of these things. I think the most valuable records uh, from my research that I've read are, um, I would say, kind of at the extreme. So looking at the national story of, of how Protestants are responding to immigration restriction legislation. And this is a lot of material that I looked at um, when I was doing my earlier project on the Japanese American incarceration. So it's a lot of the same people that are working with these restriction laws in the 1920s. And understanding you know, that story and how people are dealing with um, uh, you know, congressmen and um, you know, the top um, political leaders, um, but also these, you know, very personal stories on the far other end of it, looking at the Philadelphia Presbytery, you know, mission uh, reports on how, what they're doing with the Italians in their neighborhood, um, because a lot of those missions come down to, like, individual just regular local churches who say, oh, you know what, we have a big population of Italians or Hungarians or whoever in our community, we should probably be doing something about that. And then they get resources, financial resources, uh, from the Home Missions Board. And sometimes, uh, you know, if as they start those missions, then they eventually can get, you know, if it becomes large enough, then they can get other leaders that come in um, and help facilitate that work. And those local stories, I think, are, um, you know, that helps make the narrative of my, the eventual book that I'll come out with um, interesting. Uh, the travel grant was most helpful in that it allowed me to stay here for an entire month, which I've come to PHS. I, several times in the past, sometimes just day trips from New York, um, I think up to two weeks before just using my institution's money. And, um, but to be able to stay for a whole month allowed me to do kind of the surface big national organizational records that I knew that I needed to look at, but actually gave me these kind of almost leftover days at the end where now I'm digging more into the catalog and finding like local stories specific to Philadelphia that I wouldn't have found before um, since I would not have been able to stay for an entire month on my own dime. So.